for most of history, large-scale democracies were simply impossible. There was no way to create a large-scale democracy because democracy is a conversation. Um, and you know, in, in a Stone Age tribe, you, you want to have a conversation between all tribe members. It's, it's relatively easy. They can all come together and talk. But as human societies became bigger and bigger, it became more and more difficult to bring everybody together to the town square or to the same place to, to have a conversation. So we don't know of any large-scale democracy in ancient times. All the examples, like Athens or Rome or city-states, or even smaller tribes and towns. We begin to see large-scale democracies only in the late modern era with the rise of modern information technologies uh, first, the newspaper, and then telegraph, and radio, and television, and film, and, and finally the internet. This is when you begin to see large-scale democracies, because you can use these technologies to uh, 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 create a conversation in real time between millions of people. People spread over entire continents, and they all watch the same news on television, the same TV series, the same movie, at the same time, so they can connect in a way that was just impossible before. And this was uh, 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 the foundation of modern large-scale democracy. And uh, again, we'll, we'll get to that later, but the new information technologies of the present era, like social media and AI, they are destabilizing democracy for this reason, because democracy is built on top of information technology, so it's a not, not hard to see why a major change in information technology will create an earthquake in the structure built on top of it, on top of it which, which is democracy. 